Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Amy Chang and here at Bond de Novant I talk all about beauty, skincare, and cosmetic treatments. And today I'm going to be talking all about how to prevent wrinkles while you sleep. I am a side sleeper, which is the worst if you are someone like me who is very concerned about signs of aging because sleeping on your side, I mean, it smushes your face against the pillow. And if you think about it, it's like 10 pounds smushed down. You know, maybe you're rubbing around. I mean, it's just, it's not great for your skin. And so I'm so happy that there are options out there for what are called anti-aging sleep pillows. And I have been testing out two and I wanted to share my results and my thoughts with you guys. Now the first one is by Nurse Jamie and this is the Beauty Bear Pillow. Then the second one that I'm gonna be reviewing is by Sleep and Glow. So let's start off with the Nurse Jamie Beauty Bear Pillow. This pillow has been around for some time now. I actually remember when they first launched the very first pillow and I bought it off of net porte and at that time their pillow was not made from memory foam. It was just made from like a regular cotton stuffing. And at the time, this was probably six or seven years ago, I was very dissatisfied with the pillow. It didn't, it wasn't comfortable and I just found that I didn't use it so I ended up returning it back to net porte but now, fast forward a few years, and here we are with their updated version of the Beauty Bear pillow, and it is made from memory foam, and it has a beautiful silk pillowcase with it, which is great if you have eyelash extensions, or if you use a lot of expensive creams that you don't want your pillowcase to absorb and suck off your face. But let's kind of like dive into the logistics of it, and then I'm gonna tell you guys what I think, and then we'll compare it to the Sleep and Glow pillow. So the first thing, this pillow is six dollars, comes with a pillowcase, and it's pretty light and portable. So if you're someone who travels a lot and you wanna bring this with you, that's actually one benefit, I would say, of this pillow. The way that you're supposed to use this pillow and how it helps to prevent wrinkles, as well as a preventative measure from you ruining your face fillers, lip fillers, or Botox or eyelash extensions, is that it cradles the head so that you're not pressing on the skin, you're not rubbing on the eyelashes, there's no pressure on the face, right? There's two ways you can do it. If you're a back sleeper, you put this behind your head, and just lay down like this, okay? And it kind of cradles it. So if you turn your head side to side while you're sleeping, it doesn't allow your, your head to turn enough where you're causing, you know, creating any pressure on your face. Now, if you're a side sleeper like I am, then you use this little side cradle. And the way it works is you put it down like this, and then you put your face here Okay, and so then when you lay down in your bed at night, the pressure is along your jawbone and then along the top of your scalp. So there's no pressure being placed on the cheekbones, on the cheek, on this area right here. So this is how I like to use the pillow, but sometimes I will sleep on my back too. Now, I love the updated version that it has memory foam. It is so comfortable. I find that I really enjoy using it at night. I mean, before the other version that I had, it almost felt like a chore to use that. I was like, oh God, I have to go to bed and like use this pillow tonight. And then by the end of it, I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna get wrinkles because this pillow is so uncomfortable. But this one is, I love it so much. I look forward to using it. I wake up in the morning and my neck doesn't hurt because on the old one, it, my neck did hurt. Um, so I wake up and I just feel comfortable. I feel refreshed. I don't have any lines on my face. And I know that I have slept in a way where I've kind of protected my face from signs of aging and wrinkles. So I'm very, very happy with this product. I would highly recommend it. And I think the price is a really good price. All right, now let's compare this one to the Sleep and Glow. So this Sleep and Glow pillow is also made out of memory foam. And just from the feel of it, I can tell that the memory foam is higher quality than the memory foam of the Nurse Jamie pillow. We have a Tempur-Pedic bed at home and it really reminds me of that, like very high quality memory foam. So I think in terms of materials, it definitely is a little bit better than the Nurse Jamie pillow. The price is higher. This one is $159. There's like a center cradle here 
And then there are two side cradles, so that's very similar to the Nurse Jamie in the sense that you put your face, if you're a side sleeper like I am, you put your face like right here in the side cradle, and there's like a little dip so that you don't press on your cheek area. Um, the other thing about this pillow that I think is really interesting and worth mentioning is that they really took into account a lot of different specialists. They talked to an orthopedist about the proper anatomical way to sleep at night and place your head, um, you know, dermatologists. There's a lot of thought and care and science that really went into this pillow. So I get that and I get why that warrants a higher price. But I actually like the Nurse Jamie Beauty Bear pillow a lot better, and I'm gonna explain why. Okay, if you look at this pillow, I'm gonna turn it this way so you guys can see. Look at how thick this pillow is, okay? Now we're gonna compare it to the Nurse Jamie pillow. Oops. You can see the Nurse Jamie pillow is about half of the thickness. And so because of that, um, I found the Nurse Jamie pillow to be more comfortable because my head wasn't um, tilted. I feel like when I lie on my back with this one, because it's so thick, it's like my neck has to like strain back and it's a little bit uncomfortable. Um, that was the biggest issue that I found with this one is just the thickness made it uncomfortable and made positioning my head awkward. Also, just comparing you can see this little cradle space here um, is a lot smaller than the cradle space here, right? I feel like I actually got better support off of the Nurse Jamie when I sleep on my side versus this one. Like my head would kind of just smush down and it wasn't firm enough so that it felt like my face was like falling into the hole and then pressing against the bottom of the hole. But there is one other thing that I do really like about this pillow and is that they use silver ion technology so that it's antibacterial um, because you know, if you drool or sweat at night, you don't want any of that absorbing into your, your pillow. So I really like that that science is used here. I would just say overall, the Sleep and Glow pillow was great, like the first couple of weeks. And then after that, I just noticed it started to get a little bit uncomfortable. I would wake up and my neck would hurt a little bit. And again, I think it was just because it's too thick. The other thing too is this is not great for travel. It's very heavy. You know, that's an issue if you travel. But this one is just, this Beauty Bear pillow is like light, it's compact, it's much more comfortable in my opinion. And yeah, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles and as advanced technology behind it, I still, I really still prefer this and end up using this one nightly. So I have really been loving the Nurse Jamie Beauty Bear Pillow and I hope you guys will hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram because in a couple weeks, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway that will include the Nurse Jamie Pillow. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to follow me on Instagram so you guys don't miss that. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in for this video and I hope you'll hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button button so you don't miss out on any other great content. Thanks so much. Bye.